Okay, now for something a little different than normal. Uh, I like old knives, I like knives in general. And uh, I got a, a good friend, several good people who I've talked with through the knife business and, and on the forums and stuff. And they've uh, sent me gifts, which I really, really appreciate. And uh, a couple of these next videos are going to be on some things that I've been sent. And uh, they'll be kind of a show and tell like you used to have in school. First thing I have here is a really cool old K bar that a friend sent me. I'll put the model number in the video description. I can't remember all that stuff. Uh, I don't, I've read all about these knives and I just don't retain, retain it well. So I'll do a description um, on the forums with accurate information. So I'm no historian. I know there's guys out there who know a lot about these and know more than I do. This is just, um, like I say, a show and tell. You'll probably notice if you're familiar with some of the old knives of this generation, it has a uh, ideal style blade, a marbles ideal style blade, which uh, was later adopted on the uh, Pilot Survival knives, which Marble des Marbles designed. The really cool feature about this knife is uh, that it has a hollow aluminum handle. Um, I can't remember the date, how far these things date back. I want to say the 30s, don't quote me on that, but like I say, I'll try to get some information up on it if you're not familiar with it. It's got the fullers like an ideal has. Um, those aren't for blood grooves or for strength. They're for looks and possibly to lighten the blade. That's it. But they do look cool, don't they? <laughs> I think they do. Uh, anyway, this has got a hollow aluminum handle in it with a twist-off cap on the back. This is the first of the kind of the survival knives. I think these were actually made as fishing knives. Um, it has a rubber seal on the end. Some of them came with uh, compasses inside from what I read. But uh, I think it was a, just a cavity to put your, your hooks, sinkers, you know, fishing stuff you wanted to put in there. Uh, wasn't necessarily that I can find designed for uh, you know survival last ditch knife like a lot of the hollow handle knives are today once again I don't know uh, I don't have the specs on this I'm guessing it's around a five inch blade I'll have to look um, but it's uh, just a cool old knife I mean it's got the cast the cast handle has k-bar oops <laughs> the cast handle has k-bar written in the side of it it's just unique you know um, you don't see a lot of these today, or at least I don't. They, uh, I also read that they came, some of them came with um, rubber hollow handles, which is kind of neat. So, as I always do, I'm going to do a split wood fire. And I know what you're thinking, it's not made for that, and you're absolutely right. Um, but that's what I do, that's what I enjoy, that's how I use a knife. Um, I suck at fishing, so I'm not going to take it fishing. Um, I may use it for hunting. Um, but it's not exactly an ideal pattern for that either. So, I want to use it because that's how I enjoy these things and how I enjoy, how I remember the people who sent me these things. And, uh, I make fires. I enjoy that. That's how I use my knife. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to get crazy with it. Um, I know I'm taking a risk at possibly breaking it and I hope I don't, but I'm going to be, uh, halfway smart about it and try not to. One thing that will help you in not breaking your knife when doing this is wood selection. I picked out some nice straight green wood. It splits nice and easy. It's oak. I think it's a white oak of some kind. No knots, or not very many knots. And just like in the video I did on the knife use, I hit on the top of the blade directly over the wood. I then hit the tip, and I let the handle come up and do what it wants. I don't force this handle down. I don't want to break it that way. It's easy to do. Of course, some knives are made for this and some aren't. This is one that isn't. But I still think you can get away with it if you're careful. Just use your brain. Sometimes they're going to break no matter what. I've seen knives break on what was considered 
normal use. See, I got a knot down there. I'm not going to tempt fate with this knife. So I'll just pull it back out and do it with a different knife. One that's made for it. Or I could have just thrown that piece of wood out if this was the only knife I had. That's what you're looking for in wood that you can split. Something you can start a little ways and just split it by pushing down the knife. Of course it doesn't always happen. You gotta take what you get. The other thing is, is twisting these knives. Not real, not a really good idea. A lot of the points were weak. Um, prying is absolutely, definitely not a good idea. But notice I'm twisting the wood instead of the knife. It's not as a powerful of a technique, but for this wood, it gets the job done. Those aren't the greatest in the world, but part of that is the wood. Part of that is my uh, not being used to this knife. It's definitely not the knife's fault. All right, that's about it. I'm gonna do a little more with another knife. And uh, if you uh, like this video, check out the other one whenever I put it up. There it is, the K-Bar uh, hollow handle aluminum knife. Just kinda has classic beauty, I think. Thanks for watching.